Hi, I know I just ended the video talking about the permanent matter magnet motor generator. Now I want to talk to you some about something else. If Joe Biden gets us into a nuclear war or if power goes out and you need emergency power to power a cell phone or even have a small light or charge smaller items, there is a way you can do that using your microwave. This is the turntable motor out of a microwave. This is not out of our microwave. This is out of an old microwave that somebody threw away. I do try to salvage most things that I know I can use later, especially in an emergency. Now I do have this set for 200 volts. Now I'm going to try my best to keep everything in focus for you, but I have to hold this board down with one arm, plus hold the phone, and then turn this with the other hand. So it's, it's going to be quite difficult here, but I'm going to try my best. Now I do have a small light, night light plugged in over here. Now I want to show you. Now you can see it did get up pretty high voltage. Now this will get up to 120 volts. Now I did power the night light and here's the thing. In a bad situation, if your phone is still working, but you do not have a way to charge it, do not pull one of these motors out of a microwave. Let me tighten that down a little bit more. I don't want that coming loose. And then hook it directly to the USB on your phone. You do not want that. That is a bad idea. This is 120 volt. It will fry your phone. Let's take this off. Here I have an old LG phone. Let's see if I can get this on this side. Maybe it can pick up over here. Yeah, midnight sneezed. Now let's see if I can hold this down. Remember, your board, if you have it on a board or something, it really needs to be tied down. I'm trying to hold this down at the same time I'm turning it. This is pretty tight, and it takes quite a bit to turn it. But you do not want to turn it super, super fast. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, you saw the phone coming on starting to charge. I apologize. The pliers came off. This is really small. So if you can keep the piece that comes out of the microwave, maybe put a handle on it so you can turn it. Um, it'd be much easier. It did start charging the phone. In fact, it turned the phone on. So, in an emergency situation, can you get power? Yes. It did power the nightlight. Now, this is a small um, oh, LED light. You can see that down in there. These are the types of lights, the LEDs, that most people run off of this on their demonstrations. You don't want to run any large bulbs or try to run something super large off this. And I'm going to show you why. Now, I do know I already put that video is pretty long. And I will probably put the video with that video instead of making two different videos. We'll see. Remember, this is for an emergency only. Do not try to charge DC things off of this. This puts out AC current. So you have to have an adapter for AC and a plug to plug it into. Um, you can cut off an extension cord, whatever you need to do to you know, tie the wires on here. Make sure they don't touch. It is AC current. Synchronous motor. 50 TYZ slash E. 120 volts AC. It says uh, 3.5 to 4.1 RPMs. That's rotations per minute. You don't need it going that fast. But the faster you spin it, the more power it's going to produce going out, not in. You want it to produce power going out. 3.5 watts. So this will produce 3.5 watts 
I believe it'll produce up to 5 watts. Um, you did see 120 volts up there, or as close as I could get it while holding this board down with my elbow. I have seen this thing. I've got it above 120 uh, volts. So you have to be careful when using something like this. Keep it steady. And don't go too fast. If something kicks on to charge, you hold at that speed. You don't kick it up trying to charge it faster because it will produce actually more than 120 volts. You have to be real careful when you use something like this. But in an emergency situation, if you have to charge something like your phone or if you have to charge something small or run a small nightlight, especially LEDs, they don't take a lot of power. Something like this may help you in a bad situation. If this is all you have to work with, this is the turntable motor out of an old microwave. All microwaves with turntables have this type of motor. They're 120 volts and they produce so much power. Unless you have a 12 volt microwave, strictly 12 volt, your microwave that you plug into the wall will have a 120 volt motor. It will produce 120 volts at 3.5 watts, if not more. Okay? Now, do not turn this super hard. If you tie it down to something, do not over crank your screws. The only thing holding this together is these little bitty pins right there. You can see how it's just kind of pushed in there. If you screw it down too tight or turn it too hard, this will pop off and every bit of it in here is basically plastic as far as the gears. They're not metal, they're plastic. So you have to be real gentle with this. Make sure your wires are out of your way. If you can, cut them longer than this. I just cut it short to save the motor. I have several of these put away somewhere, but once again, if you need to charge a phone or something like that, make sure you use the charging brick. It can run some LED lights. It can run small things that are 120 volt, around 3.5 to 5 watts. Depends on how fast you turn this. In an emergency situation, this may help you out. Once again, this is a LED nightlight. I believe we got this from a dollar store a uh, very, very long time ago. Walmart could possibly carry these. But if you need something for emergencies... And you don't have something like this. You don't have solar. Maybe something like this can help you out in a bad situation. They're really small. But they will kick out some power. And be careful. Do not cross these wires. Um, do not let them touch while you're turning this. This is 120 volt. It's basically the same power coming out of your wall. Just less watts. Okay, that's it. I'm fixing to go. I apologize. I will not attach it to the last video, which was talking about this, because that's already a long video. That's it. I'm fixing to go. Everyone have a good day. Bye.